Welcome to the inaugural Discovery Duathlon Sandton 2015 Race Briefing This is a step-by-step -step guide to get you from the registration to the start line. Registration will take place in the registration marquee, corner of Maud and West Street, Sandton. All participants must register in person with their ID documents and their race numbers on hand. In the case of teams, all team members must be present. At registration you will receive your race pack, timing chips and your athlete's guide. Your race pack will contain the following items. A vitality wristband for vitality members only for access to the complimentary massages. Bike and helmet stickers, your race number and a race bag. For individual participants a race belt will also be included and for teams safety pins will be provided. For participants who made a donation to Quebeca for a parking bay at the Discovery offices, your parking ticket will also be included in your race pack. Bike sticker. Attach your bike sticker onto the seat post below your seat facing backwards. Please ensure that your bike meets the bike specifications as listed in the athlete's guide. Helmet sticker. Place your helmet sticker on the front of your helmet. Make sure the number and barcode is clearly visible so that you can be identified on your race photos. Race number. Fasten your race number to your race belt. This can be done by removing the toggles, placing the strings through the holes and putting the toggles back. Make sure that your number is worn in the front on your run and at the back during your cycle. Move your number to the front again for run two. Make sure your number is clearly visible at all times. Teams. Fasten your race numbers to each respective team participant with the safety pins provided in your race pack. Remember, runners need to attach their number to the front of their shirts, whilst the cyclist needs to attach their number to the back of their tops with the safety pins provided. Race bag. Attach your race bag number to the drawstrings of your race bag. A race bag is provided to you for placement of all your personal belongings and dry clothes and footwear for after race comfort. Hand in your race bag at the GAC race bag drop-off zone, which you'll find at the rider recovery zone corner of Alice and West Street. Ensure that your race number and sticker numbers all match. Once you complete your race, you can collect your race bag from the GAC staff at the race bag marquee, situated in the rider recovery zone. Timing chip. Your timing chip will be given to you at registration. Tip. Use a safety pin to secure the strap. Transition setup. The transition area for bike check-in is located on West Street, near the entrance to the Michelangelo Hotel. Please refer to the bike load-in schedule to confirm the time periods when you'll be permitted to enter the transition zone to rack your bike and get ready. There will only be one transition area which will act as the transition from run 1 onto the bike leg and again after the bike leg onto run 2. In this transition area, you will need to rack your bike and check in all your gear for the bike leg of the race. Tip. Make sure you have your helmet on your head with the chin straps fastened correctly when entering the transition area on the day of the race. The TSA technical officials will check the condition of your bike and helmet to make sure they meet safety requirements in order to race. Your bike must meet the TSA specifications for a draft legal race. Please ensure you are aware of your rack number so that you rack your bike in the correct position in the transition zone. The TSA officials and staff in the transition zone will also be able to assist you on race day. Once in the transition area and your bike is racked, place your helmet, shoes and other race gear neatly next to your bike. Tip: Do not spread out your gear all over the place. Keep it as close as possible to your bike. We recommend you place your gear in the transition area at least 60 minutes before the start of your race. Important. 
remember to check the load in and load out schedules for access into the transition zone. Run start check in. When you leave the transition area after you've racked your bike, you will need to make your way to the holding start pens in West Street, near the start line. Your start time will be printed on your race number and published on the event's website. Please ensure that you are in the start pens a minimum of 20 minutes prior to your group's start time. When reporting for your start group, you should already be wearing all your running gear with your timing chip on your left ankle. Your race number needs to be positioned on the front and clearly visible. Once on the start line, follow the starter's orders. Transition 1. Run to bike. Once you have completed the required number of run laps, head to the transition zone to gear up for the bike leg. If by any chance you have lost your timing chip, you will need to inform the technical official at the transition zone and they will assist you to get another one. Without this chip, we will not be able to give you an official finisher's time. Important! Before you unrack your bicycle, make sure you are wearing your helmet and that the chin straps are clipped. For individual participants, make sure you have moved your race number from the front to the back by turning your race belt and that all your equipment is placed neatly inside your designated transition area. Remember, you may not ride your bike in any part of the transition zone and you may only mount your bike once you have passed over the mount line. Bicycle Equipment Please take note of the bike specifications as published in your athlete's guide. Your wheels must have a minimum of 12 spokes. No disc wheels are allowed. Your handlebars must be plugged. If you are using clip-on handlebars, be sure that the bridge does not exceed the foremost line of the brake levers. Clip-on bars must also have a solid factory bridge or should be touching each other. Brake levers or gear levers must not be attached to the clip-ons, nor any of your water bottles or water bottle holders. No time trial bars are permitted in this event. This is a draft legal course and therefore you are allowed to draft the cyclist in front of you. Please consider the safety of your fellow athletes and do not make any unnecessary lateral movements or hard braking. On the cycle, you will need to count your own laps. Failure to complete the correct number of laps will result in disqualification. Your laps completed will be verified by the timing company after the race is over. Transition 2. Bike to run. When you are heading towards the transition area on your bicycle, reduce speed and dismount your bike before the dismount line. Be aware of other cyclists around you as you prepare to dismount. Once in the transition, you are required to first rack your bike in the same position it was in before, and only then can you unclip and remove your helmet. Make sure your bike is racked neatly and leave your bike gear neatly next to your bike. For individual competitors, once you have changed from your cycling gear into your running gear, remember to once again adjust your race number and wear it in the front, displayed clearly. Tip: Your upper body must be clothed and no athletes will be allowed on the course without a shirt. On your run too, you are once again required to count your own laps. Failure to complete the correct number of laps will result in disqualification and the number of laps completed will be verified by the timing company after you have completed your race. Important. Timing chips. Your timing chip needs to be handed in to the friendly volunteers. They will be positioned immediately after you have crossed the finish line before entering the rider recovery zone. Missing chips will be charged for. Water points. There will be two water points on each lap of the runs and one water point on each lap of the cycle. Stay hydrated and do not litter beyond the demarcated littering zones. Relay teams. If you are racing in a team, transition handovers will take place in the allocated zone next to the transition zone. Hand over the timing chip to your next teammate 
and ensure he or she fastens the chip to their left ankle. Please note, only two team members will be allowed in this zone at any time. For transition one, the cyclists should be waiting in the allocated zone for their runner to arrive. You should have on your helmet and shoes with your race number pinned on the back of your cycling top, ready to go. Once the cyclist has completed their cycling leg of the race, they must first enter the transition zone and rack their bicycle before heading to the team transition zone to hand over the timing chip to their runner. The chip will now go onto the runner's left ankle. Team Meet Zone Being a team, we feel that all team members should be able to run up the famous blue finish carpet and to cross the finish line all together. This will make for a grand photo finish. Team members will be able to join their runner completing run two on the corner of Fredman and West Street. Please ensure you are familiar with the suggested route to access the meet zone. Race bag pickup. Once you have crossed the finish line and handed back your timing chip, move into the rider recovery zone and visit the ever-efficient GAC staff at the GAC race bag collection marquee. For security, you will have to show your race number in order to receive your bag. Discovery Massage Zone The Vitality Massage Zone will also be located in the Rider Recovery Zone. This is a complimentary service to Vitality members only. Please visit the professionals and book your time slot. Prize Giving There will be prize giving for various age groups and categories through the day. Please refer to the Athlete's Guide for categories that will be recognized on the day. If you are a contender, please keep an eye on the published results on the notice boards at the registration marquee. And if you qualify for a prize, please ensure you attend the prize giving ceremony. Bike Collection Bike Collection or Loadout will open at various intervals during the day depending on your start group. Please ensure you check the bike loadout times and that your bike is collected from the transition zone on time to allow for other athletes competing in the other events. For security purposes, only athletes can collect their own bikes and your race number and bike number must match before being allowed to remove your bike from this area. Should you for any medical reason not be able to collect your bike, officials will be informed and individuals collecting the bike for you will need to provide your details as well as their identification and contact details. Enjoy your race and the opportunity to run cycle run through the streets of Sandton in the Discovery Duathlon Sandton.